Hey guys, this is Andy Coleman, and these are my top 10 biggest regrets in my 20s. So in my mind, I squandered away my entire 20s. I was nowhere near where I wanted to be in life in my 20s. I thought I'd be a rich millionaire sailing around the world, and that couldn't have been farther from the truth. Their 20s are where they find themselves and where you explore and you experiment and you try to find what kind of person you are and what you like doing and enjoy in life. For me, I really took that to heart and I did not do everything I should have done. And I feel like I wasted 10 years of my life where I could have been doing everything I did in my 30s, in my 20s, but I didn't. Okay, so my first biggest regret is I smoked way too much weed. Yep, you heard that right. I smoked a ton of marijuana and it was not good. I would usually smoke like 10 times per day. I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. I would wake up and I would smoke weed. I would smoke weed like an hour after that, an hour after that, after eating lunch lunch an hour after that I mean I was smoking weed all the time I would go through my phases where I would have edibles and I would do dabs which is like the concentrates you name it I would do it I think there's a time and a place for smoking weed once you're established and maybe at nighttime you know I think it's okay to smoke weed but doing it every single day it really just destroys your motivation and it actually screws your body up believe it or not in my 30s I had to go on TRT because I smoked so much weed that it dropped my testosterone down to around 350. If you guys know what that is, that's very, very low for free range testosterone. It did a number on my memory. I mean, I was foggy. I wasn't as ambitious as I should have been. It messed up my joints and it made me get injured when I was working out. Guys, weed is good and I used to love it, but definitely do it in moderation. As I was saying before, I really got into gear right when I was around 33 years old and I got into real estate. That's when my career really picked up for me and that's where I really started to try. Before then, I was kind of just goofing around. I wasn't really applying myself the way I needed to be applying myself. I wasn't succeeding at the highest level that I knew I could have. If I can go back in time, I would have started doing real estate way sooner. Which brings me to number three. One of my biggest regrets is not starting real estate sooner. I would have been way ahead of where I am right now. I absolutely crushed it in my first three years of real estate. Imagine I started doing that in my 20s. Imagine I wasn't smoking weed every single day and I was actually applying myself, doing a craft that I really loved, that I really enjoyed, that would make me really successful, which is real estate. If I had been doing that for the past 15 years, I'd be at such a high level right now, I'd be a 100 times more successful than I am right now. And as a realtor right now, I'm making about $500,000 per year. If I had been doing this since I was 20 years old, I would have been making $500,000 a year for many, 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 many years and not just the past couple of years. So yeah, that was a big regret of mine is not getting into real estate sooner. I had a natural knack for it. I was really good at talking to people. So I always knew that I was a really good salesman. So if I had started that sooner, I would have been way more successful than I am right now. Now I feel like I'm playing catch up for my 20s and I'm busting my ass every single day so I can catch up for all the things I didn't do in my 20s, now in my 30s. My number fourth biggest regret is not investing my money. So yes, I was making a good amount of money in my 20s, but I wasn't investing it at all, which was a massive mistake. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. I don't know why anybody didn't tell me, hey, Go put it in an index fund. Go put it in the stock market, the S&P 500. Nobody told me about a Vanguard index fund when I was in my 20s. It took me until my 30s until I started doing my research and my homework and I found out what an index fund was and I found out how to invest my money properly to make my money work for me. I don't know why anybody didn't tell me this, but I should have been investing in my 20s. I should have taken all the money I was making back then and then threw a little bit of it every single year into an index fund. I would have been so much wealthier than I am right now because you you get compound interest if you invest in the right funds. I'm not saying I could have beat the stock market, but if I did an index fund like Vanguard VOO, I would have had way more money than I do right now. When you leave your money in the bank, you actually lose three to 5% every single year from inflation. When you put it in an index fund like VOO, you actually gain about 10.6% every single year on average over the past 10 years. Obviously some years are gonna be better than other years, but yeah, on average you would make about 10.6% every year and nobody told me this and I never did the homework for myself. Instead of learning the things we did in school that had no value whatsoever for your future real world life, they should have taught us things like how to invest your money, what to do when you graduate, things like that would have been so much more beneficial. So yeah, I wish I had done my homework sooner and started investing. My fifth biggest regret is not buying a house. Oh my God, if I could go back in time, I would have bought as much property as humanly possible. I would be 
filthy rich right now if I had bought properties, especially down here in South Florida. Now, yeah, who could have guessed that South Florida would have blown up like this? But regardless, I wish I had bought properties. Properties appreciate in value by a tremendous amount. On average, year over year, over the past 10 to 20 years, houses appreciate in value 3 to 5% every single year. Do the math on that. So if you buy a house and you hold it for 10 years, on average, your house is going to appreciate by 30 to 50% in value. That's absolutely insane. And then if you're not even living in your house and let's say you're just renting it out and you're getting the equity that the tenants are paying, you'll make extra additional funds on top of that because they're paying your mortgage, they're paying your taxes, they're paying your interest, your insurance, all of that good stuff, they're paying that. And then when you sell the house in 10 years or however long you want, you get all that appreciation and value. It's absolutely insane that I did not buy property sooner. I had some money and all I needed was 5% down and I could have bought properties. I wish I had done it sooner because I would be in a much different place if I had been a landlord for the past 15 years. My sixth biggest regret in my 20s was I was friends with the wrong people. Now this was mainly in my early 20s and I finally got a clue and figured it out but I used to hang around with some people that were not great at all. And I'm talking really bad people that would break into your house and steal everything you had. I had friends from high school that got turned on to drugs and it just became absolutely awful. We actually lost a few of them to drug overdoses. Some of them got arrested. Some of them did go on to leave really productive lives. But yeah, a lot of those people that I used to be friends with after high school, they turned to the wrong path and they were just bringing me down. Don't surround yourself with negative toxic people, especially people that are doing drugs because they will just bring you down with them. You want to surround yourself with positive people, successful in life. I mean, usually you want to be around people that are better than you so you can learn from them. You want to network, you want to build connections, and you want to get up to the next level by hanging around with people that are at that next level. Now, yes, I did learn what not to do and who not to become, so that was really good. And now my seventh biggest regret is I lost a lot of good friends. So the good friends I had, the friends that were really good people, I actually lost touch with them. Now, this is just a character flaw of of mine, which I've recognized, I'm not great at staying in touch with people. I get really busy or I get preoccupied with something else. And like I said, back then I was smoking a lot of weed, so I wasn't really my true self. And I would kind of forget about people and I would forget to do things and I would get really lazy. And I lost a lot of good friends that way. I really wish I was better at staying in touch with people because you're going to be networking with people that you can trust and rely on. So yeah, I think that's really important. I lost touch with a lot of good friends that could have been a really good positive benefit to my life later on in my 30s and beyond. My eighth biggest regret is I didn't move out of my parents' house sooner. So I'll take you back a little bit. And in my early 20s, I was still living with my parents and I actually moved to California when I was I think it was 24 years old or 25 years old but I had wish I had done it way way sooner I had that comfort of me not having to pay any bills you know I didn't have to pay rent or anything like that so I wasn't struggling I was making money and I was able to save it which was really good but then again I wasn't investing it which was really bad but having my parents there and having that level of comfort wasn't actually good for me now yes it was good that I was able to save up extra money but a lot of people don't do that a lot of people spend all of their money and they think oh I'm not paying rent I'm living with my parents they don't save their money fortunately I did save money but it was still bad because once I got out of my parents house then I really started to grow and thrive and find myself because now I had to make it number nine is I never committed to a girlfriend so I always had commitment issues and I would go from girl to girl to girl to relationship to relationship my longest relationship up until my past girlfriend was about nine months and I think that was a stretch too because we were like on and off I never really got into relationships. I don't know why, but I was scared of commitment and I never wanted to settle down. I always thought the grass was greener on the other side. And once I met my girlfriend now, Saba Ali, everything changed for me. I was like, oh my God, why didn't I do this sooner? If I had met a girl like her sooner, I would have had a lot more stability in life. She really motivated me to take it to the next level. Even right before I met her when I was about 32 years old, I had gotten into real estate and I wasn't really applying myself 100% like I should have been. She's the one that really motivated me and kicked my butt in the gear that I started working 16 hours a day and then I tripled, quadrupled my income and I owe a lot of that to her. At that time, I was like sitting on my butt playing video games 
games at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, I was still doing real estate and I was making money. Not much though. I was only making about $80,000 that year and she wanted me to apply myself and become the best version of myself that I could be. That very next day after we had that conversation, I was like, you know what? She's right. Let me stop playing video games. Let me stop going to the beach or going to the pool and tanning at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now let me try to work all day long, work Saturdays, work Sundays, not turn my phone off at 5 o'clock at night. And guess what? It worked. I became really successful really fast that way. So I personally think having a stable relationship, somebody you can rely on, a partner, it makes the world of difference. It'll motivate you in ways that you never thought possible. And my last and 10th biggest regret, I wish I had traveled more when I was younger. I was making money, I was doing okay in life, I could have traveled more. But for some reason, I don't even know why, I couldn't even tell you why, I didn't do it. I barely left the country. I think I went to Canada, Cuba, Mexico, that's it. I didn't really travel like I wanted to. I wanted to go to France, to Italy, to Europe. I wanna do all these fun trips and I never got to do them. Now, yes, it's okay because now that I am successful, I can go and do these things now. But I wish I had done them sooner. It would have added a little bit more culture and it would have expanded my horizons and my ideas on the world. I think it would have made me a better person if I had traveled more. So yeah, those were my biggest 10 regrets in my 20s. I'm 35 years old now and I had wish I had done a lot of things different in my 20s. I did learn from all of my mistakes. Now, you cannot make up for lost time because I'll never get that time back, but it did make me the person who I am today. So it's not like I could say, oh, if I can go back in a time machine, I would change everything because then I would be a different person and I do love who I am now. So as long as you learn from your mistakes and you become a better person over time and you keep growing, you know, obviously you can't go back in time and change things. So you just have to accept it and deal with it. Don't get me wrong, I really did enjoy my 20s, but there are things I would have done different. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment below. Definitely stay tuned for my next ones. I'm gonna be dropping videos three times per week, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you guys liked it, I'll catch everybody in the next one. All right, that was pretty good. Not bad.